Uh, greetings, greetings. Uh, it's been a while. It's been a while. Uh, I've just been more into prayer, <coughs> seeking the face of the Lord, concerning uh, what is to come, what I've been shown several times. Uh, this time around, <coughs> I want to share a special message to all the citizens of Johannesburg. Johannesburg, uh, we stretch it, let's just say Houting, but mainly in Johannesburg. Uh, this is what I saw. I was awakened uh, around 26 past 2 to pray. When I started praying, uh, eventually the Holy Spirit came. He opened my eyes. When my eyes opened, I was just here in Jobe, not far from where I'm actually making this recording now. Uh, down the road, uh, let me not be very specific, but here in Jobe, the, the most important thing is for you to get the message. I was just here, and as I was there, I saw the main angel that is responsible for false prophets. Uh, we just had a dialogue there, here and there. And eventually, the angel of the Lord that walks before me came. When this angel came, he came with somebody that he was with that I'll just put as an angel. Though, when we are now going deeper in future, maybe let's say I am to change, people will say at that time he said this, now he's saying this. So I will just bracket the person as an angel. So this person told me that he used to be in this very place. He was assigned by God to ensure that there is peace, but the church, of course, is not praying uh, for peace to remain in the country, uh, for holiness and righteousness to prevail right here in Johannesburg. So, eventually said, I was now posted to Israel. It means the Lord relocated that spirit personality to, to Israel. And as that spirit personality was relocated to Israel, he now communicated what has been happening ever since the person was assigned <coughs> here in Jobek and what happened, what caused them to leave. Uh, just to be brief, uh, the message now that the person gave me, he said, there is great destruction befalling Johannesburg. He said, there is, she said, because it's not like a, it was a, a male figure. She said, there is great destruction that is awaiting Johannesburg. Let's pray that these angels that are about to be sent for destruction should not come. Because the moment when these two angels come, the same angels that destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah, these are the two angels that are also going to be assigned for destruction. So, <clears throat> my prayer is that, uh, okay, somebody will say, what is the cause of destruction? Of course, abortion, sodomy. When I'm saying sodomy, it means uh, men committing shameless acts with men, women with women. Of course, those that perform such uh, acts, they are without full knowledge. But those with full knowledge should be in a position where we pray for them because no one is judging them. But we are there to stand and pray that they receive their deliverance and their salvation. So my message to you today is, if you are hearing this message, take this message very seriously. If you are in Jobek, 
earthquakes are coming winds storms all kinds of things whatever that can cause great darkness to be in a city that's what's coming in this very city Johannesburg mainly of course uh, as a whole as South Africa but uh, I believe uh, God uh, gave me a mandate to be in Jobet for some time but what I also received that time uh, during uh, the dialogue uh, with that spirit personality she indicated that you shall be moved and also God is going to move others from this very place. It says you shall be moved and God is going to move others from this very place. So my word of encouragement for those who are living for God, you are covered. For those who are led by the Spirit, you are covered. But if you are not led by the Spirit, invite the Holy Spirit to begin to lead you, to guide you in all parts of righteousness so are we supposed to be afraid no what's the purpose of the message is that we pray and avoid this judgment that is at hand so i think i shall be coming again live uh, more or less best as i'm led by the holy spirit but the message i was given to bring on live pretty soon uh, that i've not yet uh, communicated was a uh, it's not only good to be anointed, also your spirit must be strong. So sometimes you find people who have more anointing than their spirit. It's like you have a great Lord over you, but your spirit is weak, which is why you'll be ineffective. You will not be able to produce enough results based on the capacity of your spirit. So it's not only good enough to get, your, to, get to be anointed, uh, whether by those sent by God or by the Holy Spirit himself, Christ, the Lord, the Father. So your spirit must also be strong. So get the message right. I will come live specifically for that message. Uh, wherever you are, I speak God's blessings. Today, money will never be an option. Grace will never be an option. You will walk in power. You will walk in deliverance. May God increase you in the name of Jesus. May God increase you in Jesus' mighty name. I multiply the grace that God has given you for the day. I multiply it times seven. Whatever that you are supposed to make today, <clears throat> if God had assigned that, you will make a thousand. I say you will make seven thousand in Jesus' mighty name. God bless you. Greetings for those who are watching. Spread the word concerning what is to come. Join us back. Shalom.